So what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. I hope y'all are enjoying this wonderful rainy day. I know I am because I get to be in the garage installing new parts on the 959 Panigale. And today we have something new from Evo Tech Performance. We got the upper and lower radiator guard. So let's check those out. Okay, so this is the upper one. And we got the lower one. And I also have the levers um, to install too, but I already have a video up on that. You guys can go and check that out. So I'll do that later, but. So here's the lower one. Go ahead and open this up. All right, and there they both are. I always love Evo Tech styling because it's nice and, and clean and simple. You know, it's not too over the top. It almost looks like their stuff could be factory. Um, so that's why I like it so much. So, I mean, you guys already know what these are for. It's basically to protect your radiator and your oil cooler from rocks and stones and stuff, you know, being thrown by the front wheel. So figured why not put them on the, the 959. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the lower radiator guard comes with a little bit of hardware. It comes with two screws and then also a little neoprene pad that goes on the back of the radiator guard right down here. And it just cushions it between the guard and the oil cooler down at the bottom. We're just gonna go ahead and stick that little piece of foam down here and then we'll mount it to the bottom of the bike. Okay, so to mount the bottom one, the first thing we're gonna do is take off both sides of the lower interfering bolts. And we're gonna take a three millimeter hex. And just take both of these out. Now the only thing I don't like about the Evo Tech kit is that uh, they mount to these lower fairing bolts. So that means every time you remove the lower fairing, the radiator guard is gonna be loosened. Other kits that I found mount to these two bolts up here on the back. So when you take the lower fairing off, you never have to mess with the guard. Not a big deal, but you know, just me being picky. Also, it is gonna make it a little easier on your back if you lift the front wheel up off the ground. Again, not totally necessary, but just makes it a little, little bit easier getting the bike higher up off the ground. Okay, so once you have both of the bolts out, you're just gonna slide the guard in from behind a tire like so. You're gonna make sure this bottom tab here goes behind this plastic piece. It shouldn't be sitting on top like this. It should be tucked behind there like that. I'm just gonna slide it down into place. And then just put your two bolts back in. Not too much torque, just nice and snug. Okay, so for the upper one, we just have to remove these two three millimeter Allens, and then we'll have to just slide it up in there and tuck it behind the inside fairing. So let's go ahead and take those out. So I believe this piece may have to stay out and the radiator guard will go in place of this. Not 100% sure. We'll see how it fits when I get it up in there, whether this goes back in or not. But for now, we'll leave it out. 
All right, so once we have both of the bolts out, we're going to just go ahead and slide it up in there. So this part is a little bit tricky because you gotta get the ready to guard tucked behind the fairing and also get this top piece here tucked up behind the body as well. So I have it in there and you just wanna slide it over into place. Okay, so judging by the way it fits, this piece is not gonna go back on, so this is gonna stay off. I'll just store this aside somewhere safe. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolts back in. And there you have it folks, a nice clean set of radiator guards. And uh, just so you know, for the bottom radiator guard, I didn't end up using the uh, two bolts that they supplied. I just reused the factory bolts. It's not a big deal, they're about the same length. So I don't think that that's really an uh, um, uh, issue or, at all. Um, so yeah, yeah, and I think they have a nice clean look and uh, the fit and finish is perfect. I didn't have to modify anything to get them to mount up. You know, they just fit right in place. So yeah, that's been another install video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys got any questions, drop them down in the comment box. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And let me know what you guys think about these radiator guards, how you think they look, um, how you think the quality is based on what you can gather from the video. And I'll be sure to drop a link in the description to where you can purchase these radiator guards from. Also, like I said in the video, um, it does make it a little bit easier to work under the bike anywhere, doing oil change or whatever, if you get both wheels up off the ground. But this stand I'm using for the front is an old trackside stand that I got from Revzilla for like 50 bucks. Um, I do not recommend buying this stand for this bike. I had this stand left over from uh, when I had my Monster and it fit that bike perfect. But with this bike, it's something in the front end is a little bit wider. So if you're not careful, the, the bolts on the pads here, it can touch up against this, uh, the ABS ring here and it'll rub on the bolt when you spin the wheel. So you gotta be real careful when you lift the front wheel up with this stand and make sure that it's spaced um, away from this ring. So when you spin the wheel, this uh, the ABS ring is not rubbing on the bolt. But like I said, if you're in the market for a new stand and you have this bike, do not get this stand. Um, get another brand, maybe like a Willwood. Um, I'm probably eventually gonna get another Pitbull like I have for the rear here. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys have a great week, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.